What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I have an unbelievable clip to show you guys today. This is the CEO of Kellogg's, and he's going to be talking about cereal, but not cereal for breakfast, cereal for dinner. And he'll explain the reason why he's saying that cereal for dinner is something that a maybe family should be looking at. So this is, I, I was speechless when I saw this, and we're going to talk about this. I really want you guys in the comment section below to let me know what you guys think about what he is saying and how out of touch he is when it comes to the reality of thinking about having cereal for dinner. So we're going to talk about this in this video, but first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so let, let's get right into this. There's a reason why I talk about the CPI score every month. And we look at the consumer price index. That's what I'm talking about. We're looking at inflation. I like to look at food inflation. You guys know I do this. And the reason for that is because we're seeing inflation drop, but food prices are still remaining steady. They're not dropping the way that inflation's dropping. That's a huge problem. Now, let's listen to the CEO of Kellogg's talk about this phenomenon, this, this situation that we're in when it comes to food inflation. Here we go. Joining us exclusively today is W.K. Kellogg Company Chairman and CEO Gary Pilnick, having just presented at Cagney. Uh, Gary, it's great to have you. Uh, big piece in the journal today, just looking at the share of income going to food and sort of exploring the idea that it's hard to find eras in which food prices actually retrench and stay down. Um, talk about what you said today or, or, at Cagney. Well, Carl, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. When we think about our consumer under pressure, there's things that we could do, but most importantly, what this category could do. The cereal category has always been quite affordable, and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So some of the things that we're doing is first messaging. We've got to reach the consumer where they are. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. The other places that we like to go is we talk about making sure we have the right pack at the right price in the right place. So having a different size pack that'll have a different price point, that'll take some pressure off the consumer while they're shopping. So those are some of the things that we're doing. But in, in general, the cereal category is a place that a lot of folks might come to because the, the price of a bowl of cereal with, with milk and with fruit is less than a dollar. So you can imagine why a consumer under pressure might find that to be a good place to go. Right. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for dinner, um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Uh, we don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. When we look at all of our data, of course, we would know that breakfast cereal is the number one choice for in-home consumption. We understand that for breakfast. It turns out that over 25% of our consumption is outside the breakfast occasion. A lot of it's at dinner, and that, that occasion continues to grow, as well as the snacking occasion. But um, cereal for dinner is something that is, is probably more on trend now, and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure. I have to admit, as a busy mom, I've had cereal for dinner. <laughs> okay, so there it is. The CEO of Kellogg's promoting having cereal for dinner. And the reason why he's promoting this is because food is too expensive. This is where we've come to. We've come to a situation where you go to the grocery store and food is so expensive, they're actually promoting eating cereal for dinner. Now, we all know when it comes to eating cereal, cereal is not the healthiest thing that you can be eating. And people might eat it for breakfast, but now the push is eat it for dinner too. And then the next thing is going to be, you know what, if you're working, bring your lunch, bring cereal for lunch. This is just, I mean, it, it's out of control. I, I mean, we're, we're looking and we saw the, the headline of, of the Wall Street Journal article that says it's been 30 years since food ate up this much of your income. And so this is a huge problem. I've been talking about that. I've been sounding the alarm about food prices for over a year now. I've been looking at the data. 
the inflation every month, and we're not seeing that drop, but everything else is dropping. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So when we're looking at, and this was just the, the latest uh, CPI report, and this is, this is the information that I put out the last time. I didn't even erase this. So I just want to show you when it comes to food at home, or just food overall is 2.6%. Food at home is 1.2%, okay? Now, that's a year-over-year -year increase. That's what we're looking at here. When we're looking at food away from home. It's gotten to the point where it's 5.1%, but we know overall inflation, overall inflation is, what, 3.1%? And so we're still seeing food away from home is more expensive than overall inflation. And so we're at a point now where we really need to start asking the question, if everything else is dropping, why are food prices still high? Why is this still an issue? Well, the easiest explanation is greed, corporate greed. They're keeping those prices up there. And even though the CEO of Walmart's indicated that they plan to start dropping prices when it comes to food items, they're still up there. And it doesn't look like they're dropping anytime soon. And so it's it's just it's just amazing to me that you have a CEO of 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 a cereal company talking about yeah let's promote having people eat cereal for dinner. Now I can almost guarantee you that his kids are not eating cereal for dinner, but people who are working class, people who are poor, that's the push. We'll have them eat cereal for dinner. And just hearing that, you know that isn't right. You know that doesn't sound right. But he said that with a straight look on his face. And, of course, he's trying to promote his product. So he's looking at an angle here, and he's saying, well, prices are too expensive for other uh, food items. But guess what? Cereal. You can get cereal for a really affordable price. And I can imagine if people really take to this and they start eating cereal for dinner, so you're eating cereal for breakfast, cereal for dinner, and so the demand for cereal will go up. And then guess what? The price of cereal is going to go up just like everything else. So I, I really want to get your, your input on this because I, I just thought it was amazing, <laughs> first off, that he would even say something like that. And the reality is prices are high. And I talked about this when I did this the video talking about the CPI score. My last trip to a fast food restaurant was at El Pollo Loco, and I got a burrito and two tacos. It was $17. I didn't get a drink, I didn't get chips, I didn't get anything else. Just those three items, $17. It's amazing how expensive food is now. And you go to the grocery store, the same situation, go to the grocery store, you walk out of there with three bags, and you spent $100. Three bags, $100. It's just really, really out of control. So we'll keep following this story, but I just thought that was amazing. I had to do this video. I got up early this morning. I saw that. I said, oh, this is going to be the next video that I post. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.